Hi, girls and boys. Happy Friday. It is Mrs. Kelly again and Tuca just popping his face in to say hi. You want to say hi? Say hi. I guess he doesn't want to say hi right now. Um, <clears throat> but we made it through another week of me being here and you being at your house. And I've talked to a lot of you on the phone. And if I didn't talk to most of you, I talked to someone in your family. And I'm so proud of all the hard work that you are doing while we are away from each other. So keep up that good work, girls and boys. I'm so proud to hear about so many of you practicing your reading and your numbers and your math. And you're all so smart and just keep on practicing. <clears throat> so today I'm going to show you our caterpillars. They're getting bigger. Look at how easy it is to see them now. Can you see that? There's two right there. And girls and boys, I want to show you over here, you see some little black pieces in this little cup. That is the caterpillar molting. That means that it's leaving some of its skin behind. So I bet you can tell, I bet you can notice through your observation using your eyes how much bigger these caterpillars have gotten. And remember I told you last time that the, the food that they eat is right here. It's the stuff that kind of looks like peanut butter, but it's not peanut butter. And there's the other two. And last time I had to hold it up really close for you to see, but now they've gotten so much bigger that I don't even have to hold it up all that close and look over here. Can you see those? Two more over there. And then this is our last one, because remember we have four cups. Oh, look at this little friend. Can you see him? He's hanging down, he or she, hanging down to say hello. <laughs> so I bet on Monday, when I send you another video, they are going to be even bigger. And it will be super exciting when they start forming their chrysalis. I can't wait for us to watch the next step in the life cycle of the butterfly. So girls and boys, I know I started a chapter book a couple days ago, um, but I think that the picture books are going to be what we stick to for right now. I think that they're a little bit easier for you to follow and a little bit more fun for you to look at the pictures. Um, if you really loved the chapter books, have your mom or dad or someone in your family send a message on Remind to let me know that you'd really like me to start reading those again and I can, I can bring those back. But for today, I have a book called If You're Hoppy. It was written by April Pulley Sire, and the pictures are by Jackie Ur Urbanoic. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, I picked this book because April is a time where you see lots of bunnies hopping around. Maybe you celebrate Easter, and maybe you don't. But either way, I've noticed a lot of bunnies in my yard hopping around, and this is just a really cute story slash song. It's kind of like the song, If You're Happy and You Know It, which I know that you all know um, because we've sang that before in our classroom. But this is a little bit different. This is If You're Happy and You Know It. All right, here we go. Go this way. Can you see it? I guess I'll sing it for you. If you're hoppy and you know it, you're a, what do you think this says? A frog, a frog. If you're hoppy and you know it, you're a frog or, what's this one? Look, a bunny. If you're hoppy and you know it, stretch your toes to really show it. If you're hoppy and you know it, you're a frog or a bunny or a cricket. Crick, crick. Now it changes the word. It rhymes with hoppy, but look, this is sloppy. Ready? If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog. You're a hog. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog. Or a raccoon. 
If you're sloppy and you know it, squeeze your face to really show it. Girls and boys, squeeze those faces. If you're sloppy and you know it, you're a hog or a raccoon or a chimp. No, nope, or a chimp or a baboon. All those animals must be pretty sloppy. If you're, this one is going to be growly. If you're growly and you know it, you're a dog. A dog! If you're growly and you know it, you're a dog. Or, I wonder what this one's going to be. What's this one? Say it with me. A bear! If you're growly and you know it, make a sound to really show it. If you're growly and you know it, you're a dog or a bear or a tummy over there. Make a growly sound. Grrr. Now we're going to sing If You're Flappy and You Know It. Are you ready? If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird. If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird. Or, what do you think this is? A butterfly. If you're flappy and you know it, swing your wings to really show it. If you're flappy and you know it, you're a bird or a butterfly. Or, 